in orbit around the Earth or could strike it. We track that from the ground and we help the International Space Station avoid a normal collision with an object that could potentially cause damage. But there definitely are small objects out there that can cause very minor damage to the exterior of the space station. interesting question and as we uh, come into space we realize that there are definitely uh, we make it more and more accessible to more and more people and that would include being inclusive of those uh, people with disabilities in addition some of the science and technology that we develop on board the International Space Station could help improve life for people who have disabilities living on Earth. just returned to the Earth a couple of days ago, and it looks like it takes a, a, a two or three days before you kind of feel normal again, and then you regain your strength over the, the subsequent weeks, so it does take some time to get used to. instantaneously vaporized. by training, and so if I cut myself, I probably would, uh, well, if any of my crewmates cut themselves, I would help them. Uh, I would probably be the logical person for them to go to. If I cut myself, I would, my crewmates are also trained to assist with such injuries like that, and uh, so we all help each other, and there's no requirement to have a doctor on board, but we just so happen to right now. I, it seems like I dream like I do on Earth. Um, sleep is very good up here. It's very comfortable uh, because you, your body doesn't require to move around. Without the absence of gravity, you don't shift positions as much as you do lying in a bed. Um, and uh, for that reason, I sleep well and I uh, sleep and dream normally. If we were in open, out uh, in deep space, forever and ever, if you went outside of the space station and you kicked it, it would also take off in its own direction, but it basically would stay in orbit around the space station. I definitely dreamed about going to space when I was a child. I also uh, aspired and very much looked up to astronauts. And uh, no, I'm not disappointed at all. I get to work with wonderful people. I'm going to have a, a wonderful uh, job up here on the space station, but also a wonderful job back on Earth uh, representing our space agency, our country, and the International Space Station. extremely exciting, but we receive years and years of training before we get to that point, so most astronauts describe themselves as very calm up to that point, and then when that rocket starts to accelerate, and we feel the forces of that rocket accelerating faster and faster, we get very excited. I would add another mantra 
schedule. Having more and more space up here is always exciting. Right now, it's about the size of a house that has five, about five bedrooms, so it's plenty of space for six people, but if we had more, it would be even more. Actually, the only way that I would know that we were moving is when I look out the window and I see us traveling over the Earth. But if I don't look outside the window, the space station is extremely stable and it makes there's no perception of motion at all. But in fact, we're traveling at 17,500 miles an hour. like airplanes on the ground are helped by air traffic control to prevent them from colliding with one another. We have extensive ground teams that keep track of where satellites are and where the International Space Station is and make sure that they deconflict that at all times and if we ever needed to perform a maneuver, a maneuver we can fire thrusters and change our orbit slightly to avoid a collision. looking back at the Earth was uh, no, no concerns uh, in terms of I felt very, very happy to be looking back at my home planet. It's such a beautiful planet. But the concerns I do have is that when I do look down at the Earth, I can see evidence that we as human beings do have an impact on our planet that we can see from space. There's clear evidence when we look down at it. Best is Earth. It fills the windows that we look out. But we also see the moon, which is a satellite, of course, of the Earth that we can see occasionally. Uh, but one of my crewmates uh, was able to pull out binoculars and we were able to look at Jupiter recently. And without the looking through the atmosphere, it's much clearer with much less powerful binoculars. And we were even able to see the moons of Jupiter orbiting around it. growing plants right now on board the International Space Station. We're growing mustard greens, and we would be interested in growing anything that we could potentially eat, which would be a very important uh, capability for us to go deeper and deeper into space and eventually go on to the moon and to Mars to provide fresh food for astronauts that are in space for a long period of time. Sierra, Sierra, 